Hey everyone, so I got a P.O. box so you guys can send me stuff. Hi. Hi. And this video isn't like, yo, if you watch my videos, you gotta send me stuff. It's just for those of you who would like to. If you're interested, go ahead and send stuff to the address below. So now you can just send stuff and you don't have to worry about me messaging you back and taking forever and all that stuff. Kelly. Kelly. If you're interested in learning how to get your items into one of my review and or gift videos, stay tuned and I'll give you some tips. And I'm also going to tell you how to send stuff at the post office for the cheapest costs and how to keep your items safe. Basically, if you want your items to be in a review video, just put that in a letter with your items. Say, could you please review these items for me? Or could you please put these in a gifts video? And if you're in a gifts video, I'm not going to tell you what you could improve upon on your items. I'm just going to show them. If you want to be in a review video, that means I'm going to critique your items. I'm going to tell you what you do well and what you could improve on. This is mainly for people who are interested in selling their items online so they can get their products out there and so they know how to make their items better. Now for mailing tips. If you'd like to send me a simple letter, just get a normal white envelope and put a stamp on it. Now for sending actual items. It doesn't matter if you've made them, bought them, got them from your old craft supply kit and said, hey, I don't want these supplies anymore, do you want to use them? Whoa, wind. In this case, what you should do is buy a bigger orange envelope or a bubble mailer, which comes in all these lovely sizes. They are cheapest at Walmart, unless you go online and buy in bulk or something. But I got this pack of 10 at Walmart, and I think it was 4 or $5. They're really tiny, but they have bubble wrap in them, so it's going to keep your items safe. Even if you're using a bubble mailer, it's still a good idea to put your clay charms especially in one of these clear plastic bags. And you can get these at any craft store, and they come in packs of like 100 or something. Sorry, I'm looking at the screen so much, but I'm just like making sure I'm holding these up. Right. Once you put your item in this baggie, you should wrap it in some sort of cotton or cotton balls to keep it even more secure. And I just dropped cotton on Kaylee's face. I think there's a hair hanging on me too. Another alternative to keeping items safe is using a little box like this one. Yeah, sorry for the nail polish too. I know it's crappy. I haven't painted my nails in so long. But anyway, put some cotton in a box like this. Put your clay charm in or your jewelry or anything and put the lid back on. You could um, wrap it in a ribbon or something if you're worried the lid's gonna come off or tape it down. And yeah, I'm like looking at myself. I don't know why I'm looking at the screen so much. I need to stop. You might be worried about cost issues, but the thing is, if you're sending an envelope one of these sizes and the items inside aren't very heavy at all, then it's gonna be $1.71 anywhere in the United States and probably Canada to send me something. And if you're overseas anywhere, it's probably going to be a little bit over $2. I'm not positive, but I mean, it's not gonna be a ton. Make sure when you are using an envelope like this that you do not just like put one stamp on it and send it. You have to go to the post office and they will mail it first class. Tell them you wanna send it first class and then it will be the cheapest price that they can give you to send it. If you end up only putting one stamp on an envelope like this, the post office is going to send it back to you and say, hey, you didn't put enough postage on here, so that's a big mess. So just make sure like, you either go to the post office or you put on the equivalent number of stamps to make $1.71 or something like that. And if you do live in another country, make sure to go to your post office and get a customs form and fill it out and I think you can even print these online and do it like that but you're gonna have to take it into the post office and they'll take care of mailing it for you so don't just drop it in a mailbox if you're sending out a package unless you have a printout thing that you pay for on there so I'm always excited to get mail I am really happy that people actually like want to send me things it's kind of really cool and there's just so many different things and creative things that I see and just awesome. If you want to send me charms, if you want to send me jewelry, if you want to send me craft supplies, if you want to send me temporary tattoos, holla, I'll wear them because I'm really like doing that now. I think it's super cool. Any empty juice pouches, candy wrappers, I will take them. Any, you know, if you watch any of my videos and see what supplies I use in them, if you have stuff that you don't want and you want to send me, and it's definitely up to you if you want to send anything. I'm not forcing anyone to send anything, and I don't want to make it sound like I'm an ungrateful jerk who just wants free stuff. But don't write to me asking for a trade, because I don't do trades. I just, there's not enough time for me to do trades and to 
do all this stuff. Um, if you send a letter and you want a letter back, I'll probably write back to you. Just let me know because I'm not going to write back to people usually unless they ask me to write back. So I'm looking forward to getting some fun mail. And remember, if you want your items in a video, please write that down somewhere in there because otherwise I don't know if you want to keep it private or whatever. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below or send me a message. Check out all my links in the down bar because that's where my P.O. Box number is. And you guys have a great rest of the day. I will see you soon. Bye! That, the dog just interrupted my bye. I get a new bye. Alright. Bye! That was a weird one. I like my first one better. It just, you can't re-strip the bye.